Hello, folks. It is Tuesday, March 12th, 2024, and I am back in the Great Park, still outside of the Clara Shortridge Foltz Criminal Justice Center. Uh, thank you to those of you who tuned into the live stream that I did a little bit earlier this morning, uh, given some updates about uh, the case involving our friend and fellow protester, Danny. Uh, if you haven't checked out that video, I would encourage you to check it out. And the update that I have since then, after, after doing the video that I did this morning, uh, where I mentioned that we were still waiting, or the bailiff from the LA Sheriff's Department was still waiting to receive the list of folks who had been arrested on Saturday, which includes Danny. Uh, I went back up to the fifth floor, met back up with Leah and Solomon and Danny's mother. Uh, Sassafras0808 also came upstairs to join us as well. And then the, uh, the bailiff came back out with the list and he was starting to indicate to us that Danny's charge is being changed from a felony charge. He, uh, the initial thing that I had heard, it was that he was being charged with a felony hate crime. Now we are hearing that the charge has been dropped to a misdemeanor. Now it started to sound like he was, he was beginning to tell us what was going to happen. And the bailiff was beginning to tell us what next uh, updates we could expect or what next, next steps we could expect. But then, uh, he started uh, getting after Leah, uh, believing that she was recording him, and he threatened to have Leah arrested. He said, I'm gonna have you arrested, I'm gonna go get the policy to show you, uh, show you that you know that you're not allowed to be recording out here. Uh, I, I don't know what uh, reason he had to believe that Leah was recording, but, uh, but that's what we heard. That's what we heard the bailiff say. So then what happened is, the bailiff walked inside uh, the department, uh, seeming to imply that he was about to, yeah, he said that he was about to go get the policy to show to Leah. That did not happen. What did happen is he walked out of the department where we were expecting the arraignment to happen, walked with Danny's mother, who speaks Spanish, down the hallway, and we followed, and they ended up turning into a different department, which was Department 40. Uh, they were in there for a few minutes while I was continuing to stand outside uh, with stand outside in the hallway with Leah and with Solomon. And after just a few minutes, uh, oh yeah, with the bailiff walked inside with uh, Danny's mother, and he said, uh, after shutting the door uh, in front of uh, Danny's mother, she said she doesn't want you to come in. So Danny's mother did not tell us that she didn't want us coming in. The bailiff told us that Danny's mother didn't want us in. I don't know how uh, truthful the the bailiff was being there, but that's what we heard. Um, after a few minutes, uh, the bailiff came back outside with Danny's mother again, gave an update in Spanish uh, to Leah and Danny's mother. And then Leah translated uh, the update to me that, like we heard, uh, the charge was dropped from a felony to a misdemeanor. Maybe dropped is not the right word there, but the charge was changed from a felony to a misdemeanor and we can expect to hear an update at 1.30. Now, what I am still curious about that I did not get an update about um, is what is the penal code of what exactly is he being charged with? What I had heard before was that he was being charged with a felony hate crime. I don't know if there is a misdemeanor hate crime or I don't know. I'm not sure what his new charge is. So that's something that I'll encourage folks to continue to pay attention to. Um, one thing that I think is notable that, we, that happened is that it wasn't dropped from a felony to a misdemeanor or changed from a felony to a misdemeanor until today. Now, I'm still learning the way that these court proceedings work, but one thing that was notable about the day that DOA's arraignment was scheduled when he was arrested a few weeks ago was that it was after a three-day weekend uh, where Monday was President's Day. He was arrested on a Friday, the Friday before that, and then uh, some folks came to court on Tuesday expecting his court date to be that day and what uh they were told was that misdemeanors are heard on tuesday and felonies are heard on wednesday so it sounded like uh because there was a three-day weekend that's why it was broken up that way with misdemeanors on tuesday and felonies on wednesday my expectation uh was that that means that for normal weekends that are not three-day weekends that they would do misdemeanors on monday and felonies on tuesday well if this charge that danny is being fa is facing had been uh, listed as a misdemeanor originally, then he should have been uh, heard yesterday. But because it was originally charged with a felony, they were able to keep him in jail until today. Now, 
my hope is still that they will find out that, uh, or that we will find out at 1.30 when we expect our next update, uh, that the DA is refusing to prosecute the case. That would be the best news that we can get today. Uh, unfortunately, I do have to be back in Orange County at 1.30, so I will not be able to stay to hear those updates. But like I said, Leah is here. Uh, she is supportive, Leah. Uh, I see people, folks are saying in the, in the chat, Mindy wants to know if she can get to Leah. Leah is still up there on the fifth floor, as far as I know. Uh, and I expect that she will be staying at or near the courthouse until at least 1.30. Um, so, uh, so if folks are still on their way and still looking to come support and you still have your day free, I'm sure that Leah would appreciate the support. I would be staying if I were able to, but I'm unfortunately not able to. Uh, Sassafras0808 is also here. Solomon is also here. DOA is also here outside the courthouse. You may be able to hear him on his megaphone outside. Uh, really quickly, I'm scrolling through the chat to see if there are any uh, any other questions that uh, that folks uh, folks have that I would be able to be able to answer real quick. Vegas Andrew says, "Can someone call the bail bonds and ask him?" That guy was able to get info from the courts. I'm not sure if I know which guy that, which guy you're talking about. Um, uh, yeah, I, I I don't know the answer there. But if you if you have more info about somebody who would who'd be able to get more info from the courts, it sounds like right now the people who are uh, on the fifth floor waiting to hear updates might be able to get updates as soon as they come, though. Uh, Danny, who? This is Danny's impact. I know that there was some confusion uh, when folks were saying free Danny the other day that folks thought we may have been talking about Danny Masterson. We're talking about our, friend, uh, our good friend uh, and fellow protester, Danny, who can be reached on YouTube at Danny's Impact, and his uh, link tree is in the is in the description of this video. All right. Um, since since I am going to have to get out of here before too long, and there are other folks uh, streaming around here, those are the updates that I wanted to give. But like I said, at 1.30 is when I believe y'all can expect the next update to come. And I would strongly encourage you guys to keep up with DOA, uh, Sassafras0808, uh, Supportive Leah, Solomon. WB says, do you know what room? So it's on the fifth floor of the Clara Shortridge Foltz Criminal Justice Center. Originally, when we were expecting that the charge was a felony, we were expecting the arraignment to be in Department 50. Now, I believe that Department 40, which is on the same floor, is uh, is where folks are expecting. Folks are expe Wait, was it Department? I believe that Department 40 is where it was moved to, and it's definitely on the fifth floor, though. That I can that I can say for sure. All right. Um, anybody else? Cleo says, why were they threatening to arrest Leah? They believed that she was recording. That is why. All right. I am going to go ahead and get out of here in just a moment. Thank you so much to everybody who tuned in to uh, hear the update here. And uh, I, like I said, I encourage you all to stay up to date with folks who are still here who will be able to stick around. I wish I could stick around, but... Fortunately, I do have some other stuff to, I need to get to in Orange County. All right. From the Clara Shortridge Foltz Criminal Justice Center. We'll be keeping our fingers crossed for our friend Danny. And I hope that I will be able to see him outside very soon. I will see you all very soon. Have a great day and stay safe.